This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 20.19.11. Assignments includes a new column that highlights the number of new submissions or resubmissions. You can control the visibility of this column using the D2L, Tools, Dropbox, Use Assignment List Opt-in, Configuration Variable. This feature implements PI item D5396. A new column will now identify new and resubmitted assignments. Letter grading is available in assignments. Your instructors can apply select box grade items to an assignment, and any select box grade item can use an organization level grade scheme without being required to copy that scheme into a specific course. Grade schemes have also been reordered and follow a default of highest grade to lowest display. API routes have been added to enable the creation of select box grade items. This feature implements PI items D3152, D805, D3109, and D479. When instructors create and evaluate an assignment, they can now use select box grade items. In the evaluation panel, navigate to score. Click the score dropdown. And select the letter grade the learner has achieved from the provided scale. You can now enable a custom authentication method which allows usernames to be whitelisted. When the custom authentication is enabled, only users defined by the whitelist can successfully use the D2L local login. Users who cannot be authenticated using your LDAP settings are blocked from logging in. The whitelist can be configured to work with other authentication methods. A third authentication method allows you to define two LDAP configurations, or an LDAP and the new whitelist can be configured. Note, to enable this feature, contact your Technical Account Manager, Customer Success Manager, or D2L Support. New Release Condition Objects, Release Condition Results, Prerequisite Conditions Met, and Grade Object Log datasets have been included. Note, this feature is available to Brightspace core clients in North America, EMEA, and APAC. Data Purge now has a Complete with Errors status, which allows a purge to continue regardless of if a single object fails. Learners that self-enroll in a course using Discover can now self-unenroll. You can now add images to intelligent agent emails using add image in the HTML editor. Additionally, new permission checks are in place limiting the ability to assign new enrollments using intelligent agents. A new permission, perform unenroll, has been added and controls whether unenrollment options are available to a role in intelligent agents. When creating an intelligent agent, click insert image. Select the file location. Then, for this example, drag and drop a file onto the upload target. Next, click Add. Your image displays in line. Learning groups now display group tiles to provide at a glance information about group members and course assignments. Learning outcomes can be created at the org level that are available to all courses, removing the dependency on the Achievement Standards Network. This feature implements PI item D5117. From Standards, click Programs. Next, click Create Program. Enter a program name. Then, click Create. Then, click the newly created program. Next, create your own learning objectives or import from Achievement Standards Network. For this example, add a learning outcome. Click Save. Your newly created learning outcome displays. More in-depth information around feedback and the complete context of an assignment is visible in the Outcomes Progress page in User Progress. 
Learner outcomes can no longer be added to a course from Lessons. There is now a link to the Standards Management page in Lessons. Quiz feedback can be saved in Draft and mass published in QuickEval. Quiz restoration can only be completed on the latest deleted attempt, and restoration cannot be completed while an attempt is in progress. Your instructors can now easily identify when feedback is saved or published. The quiz evaluation experience now uses the Publish and Save Draft buttons used in other assessment tools for consistency. Additional quizzing options, such as making a question bonus or mandatory, are now available in the Quiz Builder experience. From the Quiz Builder experience, select the checkbox for the question you want to edit. Click More Actions. To toggle Bonus, toggle Mandatory, or change the point value of a question. You can now set default viewing experiences for SCORM, and content providers can select the launch experience. A new permission and a new API route are available to let you easily end all active sessions for a user. This functionality requires the new Can End Active Sessions permission at the org level. Video Note now uses the content service. This change removes both flash based recording options and the legacy usage reporting tool. Your instructors can now attach pre existing video notes in the Record Video workflow. Thanks for tuning in to the November release highlights. Check out our instructor version by following the link in the video. And, as always, don't forget to subscribe.